This will be a quick demo showing how to read the query string from a JSP page. So let's head to to, uh, to my project in Eclipse and I'm going to create a new JSP file test.jsp let's put the percentage here request dot get parameter and I'm going to call my parameter name so that will be the value pair, so that will be the value in the query string uh, there is a value pair in the query string, that will be the value and I will check if it's null, meaning it was not uh, entered, it, it was not found in that case I will out dot print line or print ln if and I will send a friendly message here else what we are going to do is output so we'll go to the out uh, writer print ln again gonna send, we will send first an uh, HTML tag which is the h1 tag and then in there I'm going to say hello space and then we'll append to that request that get parameter and here it will be the name plus h1 tag so this is uh, f very simple straightforward code and let's save again now we need to restart tomcat our, uh, and we'll go to localhost 8080 and we'll go test is our project and test JSP and we run that and it's, it's asking me please enter your name so uh, it looks for the parameter name it wasn't found so it, it prints a, friend, a friendly message here please enter your name and now let's let's uh, enter our query string so we'll go name equal John and hello John and if you do name equal John Doe hello John Doe so you see uh, our uh, little application is working and notice that the browser has inserted has escaped the space here by changing the space to a percentage 20 but notice here this is showing as a is showing as a blank character let's head back to Eclipse and let's create another JSP uh, in a JSP file now we'll call this one test URL in code and we'll hit enter we type if uh, request dot get parameter and the string is a name that's the variable name so we're checking if this is equal null meaning that there was nothing passed in the in the query string there was so that the object is not there and in that case again we will print print ln friendly message and here we said else and here in this case we're going to do something slightly different than the previous uh, example I'm going to create a string and I will call it an S and we'll say S equal to request dot get para uh, dot get parameter and we'll capture the name here again because we know now it is there it exists and we want to see what value has been passed uh, uh, to the name we'll print what was captured but here we're going to do something slightly different and th this is h1 and here we're going to use something something called URL encoder see that URL encoder dot encode and we're going to use the second one here and this will be our string and this will be here our good friend here utf dash uh, dash 8 utf8 which we talked about in the previous tutorial put the exclamation mark and close our HTML tag which is the h1 and after saving that then we have again to re republish or restart our server and now instead of test JSP we'll have test URL encode 
that's the name of our JSP file and if we leave this blank you can see we get please enter your name so this bit here has triggered this top one now let's uh, key in a name and let's give it a value John and this is fine we're happy with that but now I'm going to do something different I'm going to create space and John Doe and you can see here we're getting plus while with the test JSP if we put a name oh we, do, we don't see the the ASCII code here while well here I mean the hex code or the encoding while here uh, we are capturing that and showing this as the true value that was passed here which is the percentage 20 let's copy this string here after copying that let's go and paste that in the URL and hit enter and as you can see here this has been encoded so that should conclude this tutorial and I hope this uh, shows you how uh, from programmer perspective how this is manipulated